Hello, I'm Christy Callouette from Alpco. Today I'll be walking you through a comparison of colorimetric and chemiluminescent enzyme-linked immunosorbent assays, also called ELISAs. While there are many types of assays, the ELISAs I will be referring to today are sandwich assays. Sandwich ELISAs have an antibody coated on the plate which specifically binds to the desired analyte. Following a washing step, a detection antibody and enzyme label are added which bind to the analyte. A substrate is added to generate a reaction in the wells. Depending on the type of assay, either color or light is produced. This reaction can be measured by a plate reader. The degree of color change or light emitted indicates the amount of analyte in the sample. Both colorimetric and chemiluminescent assays use known standards to generate a standard curve to measure the unknown concentration of an analyte in samples. Depending on the kit, this is accomplished by using software programs with four or five parameter logistic curve fit algorithms. Both types of kits give the user measurements of the analyte in a very similar way. Color metric ELISAs require a standard microplate reader to detect the color change reaction between the enzyme label and substrate. The reader sends a wavelength, typically 450 nanometers, through each well to determine the optical density, or OD reading, of the samples. Depending on the plate reader, the OD readings provided are between 0 and 4 to the thousandth decimal point. The OD readings are limited by the capacity of the spectrophotometer. Chemiluminescence ELISAs require a microplate reader capable of measuring luminescence to detect the light reaction between the enzyme label and substrate. The light given off by the reaction in the wells is transmitted by a fiber optic cable to a photomultiplier in the reader which outputs relative light units, or RLUs. Depending on the plate reader, RLUs can range from hundreds to millions. This spread of units allows users better analytical sensitivity and a broader dynamic range by giving more separation between points and reduces the limitations of optical density readings from a standard microplate reader. Now I'm going to show you what generally comes in our colorimetric and our chemiluminescent ELISA boxes and how these kits are only slightly different. I'll be showing you Alco's colorimetric human insulin ELISA and our Stellux Chemi Active GLP-1 7-36 Amidolyza. First, we'll start with Alco's colorimetric human insulin ELISA. In this colorimetric assay, you'll receive a 96 well microplate. The plate is cleared to allow for OD measurements of the color in the plate. Zero standard. Standards A through E. Each vial has known values of insulin to establish the standard curve. Controls, containing known values of insulin for quality control. Enzyme label detection antibody. Wash buffer concentrate. TMB substrate, which during incubation changes wells blue. Stop solution, which is added to stop the color change reaction in the wells, turning the wells yellow, and plate sealers. Next, we have Alco Stellix Chemi Active GLP-1 736 Amide ELISA. In this chemiluminescent assay, you'll receive active GLP-1 96 well microplate. Notice how the chemi plate is black instead of clear. A black plate reduces background light interference when the plate is red. Standards. Control levels, assay buffer, detector antibody, detector antibody buffer, wash buffer concentrate, streptavidin HRP, which works as the enzyme label. Streptavidin HRP buffer, which is used to dilute the streptavidin HRP to working strength. Chemiluminescent substrate A. And chemiluminescent substrate B, which are combined to make working strength chemiluminescent substrate, which interacts with the enzyme label to generate the chemiluminescent reaction in each well. And plate sealers. As you can see, some of the reagents are different between colorimetric and chemiluminescent ELISAs, but the principle of each assay is similar and both allow you to measure the concentration of unknown analytes in samples. 
Whether you use colorimetric kits or are interested in trying our chemiluminescent assays, we have something for you. Alco is here to help you explore the possibilities for your lab. To see our complete ELISA offerings, please visit our website at www.alco.com. We have many great resources to help you with your project, so please take a look around. You can also reach me directly at ccalouette at alco.com or 603-681-2555. Thank you for watching.